Anthony Grasso here, uh, bringing you financial news you can use. And in this video, we're going to go over the state of the stimulus updates as of December 15th, 2020 at 750 PM right now. So a lot has happened today. So let's get right into it. And if you like this video, smash that like button down below and subscribe. If you like uh, financial news that will benefit you. All right. So top congressional leaders convened a meeting on COVID today at 4 PM Eastern time. And they're going to reconvene at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So that means they're currently convened right now. So I'm going to give you the update before that meeting is, is done. So the current congressional leaders right now that they're speaking is House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Senate Majority uh, Leader Mitch McConnell, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer. And this is what we know after the 4 p.m. meeting that just happened a few hours ago. Schumer said specifically, I'll just say it was a good meeting. Uh, McCarthy said, we're continuing to work. I think there's progress. We'll get back together soon. So they just said, well, you know, we're, we're working on it now. Now we're at the 730 meeting. And McConnell told the reporters, we're still talking to each other. And I think there's an agreement and that we're not going to leave here without the omnibus bill and um, COVID package, referring to both the relief bill and the government funding. So they have to pass government funding and the COVID relief package, but mainly the government funding right now, and then hopefully the COVID package on top of that. But leaders may have a bit more time to finalize the COVID deal under the procedure that the leaders are now looking at. So according to a few sources, uh, McConnell told the GOP senators on a call that the COVID deal could play out through the legislative process as follows. So what that what's going to happen is the House is going to introduce the one point four trillion dollar government funding package uh, later later Tuesday. So later today and then the House Rules Committee, they would offer an amendment of the COVID relief deal. So there's going to be the one point four trillion dollar government package uh, funding bill. And then they're going to have an amendment of the COVID relief deal. Now, it's unclear when the rules um, committee would meet, but it would be before Friday. So it's uh, Tuesday night now. So they have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then the full package would be sent to the floor. So what does this mean? The final legislative language on the COVID deal could wait to be unveiled until closer to the rules committee meeting later, later on in the week, which it, it leaves more time to negotiate. So even though they're meeting twice today, they get, I think they're basically going to try to get the framework that uh, that both sides are arguing about right now um, before they actually uh, finalize the actually what's written in it and then read it and then go back to the negotiating table again. Now, if congressional leaders remain at an impasse, Congress uh, may have to pass another short term stopgap re resolution to give them more time to find an agreement. That means how the um, how it was passed one week extension of the of the government funding bill till this week. Well, that may happen again. There may be another short tap, uh, short gap resolution. Now that remains to be seen right now, but we'll we'll keep you updated. And uh, as of late Monday night, there was still no final consensus uh, in the in the sticking points, as I discussed in the previous video. So if you'd like to check out that video um, on what was in the $748 billion package and the sticking points, click the link up above. So Democrats want state and local money to help ensure workers who provide vital services that are not laid off. And Republicans believe much more that money will be wasted. And the GOP lawmakers who are open to more state and local aid say there also is a need to be lawsuit protection. So government funding, lawsuit protections. Uh, but Democrats argue that the GOP proposals for lawsuit protections go way too far. And that's that's what they have uh, said. So sources said Pelosi and that as of Monday night is still pushing for the government aid and she's still pushing for it. And, and they, there's going to be that's the impasse right now. But there were uh, were clear signs that Democrats were likely to abandon that push. Some Democrats, not all of them. Um, now, some something that could lead to a long awaited deal. It's uh, McConnell said it's about time to get this done. He said on the floor um, um, yesterday. Now, Democrats agree with that sentiment as well. So this week, the Senate returns with the precious little time to left to finish the important matters of business, Schumer said. But can they get there? Now, that's what we're that's what we're doing right now. They're still in the meeting as of right now. And they're going to they plan to unveil the government funding bill soon. 
and both the House and Senate appropriations are planned to unveil what's in the $1.4 trillion spending bill today to fund the, the government agencies until the end of September 2021. So this will push it out another nine to 10 months. That leaves a little time before the deadline of this Friday. So the deadline's this Friday uh, for both to get past both in both chambers. Now, if lawmakers manage to get the massive legislation out the door today, then it's just as important as the funding provisions will be whether or not to include the pandemic relief. Now, if it does include the pandemic relief, that would signal a deal with buy-in from both the con congressional leaders that have um, has been brokered and votes in both the House and Senate can be teed up for later in the week to get the president's desk. He signed it off and voila, we got a deal. They still would need the cooperation from all senators, though, uh, to get the big uh, the bill quickly passed. So as soon as as soon as they reconsensus, they need to go straight to the House with it, pass it, go straight to the Senate, pass it. Now, if the sweeping government funding is released without pandemic relief, so let's say the scenario uh, they just passed the funding, but no pandemic relief, that would spare serious trouble to pass COVID aid before Congress breaks for the holiday. So if they don't include it on this Friday's deal, it's probably not going to happen till next year after when they uh, reconvene. Um, and that would be a demise uh, of the stimulus deal. Now, we all know that self-imposed deadlines in the past have slipped through Congress and it's never it, it, it's never worked. That's what we know. That's historical knowledge. So I'm thinking it's probably a 30 percent chance this actually funding deal. That's just my opinion. 30 percent chance that it's going to actually get passed by Friday. But hopefully after this meeting tonight, I'll raise that percentages from 30 percent to maybe 50 percent. And then as the days progress, we'll see what happens. So now uh, talks over the both stimulus and government spending are breaking down. Now, if that if that does happen, that that would mean that the talks are breaking down. So if if it slips through Congress and but uh, without the um, uh, deadline, so and then that means a lame duck session of Congress and passing a short term funding patch, which that's what would happen rather than the far broader comprehensive spending deal. Now, McConnell specifically said today that the next several days are going to bring about one of two outcomes. So McConnell said there's only two things that are going to happen. Either 100 senators will be here shaking our heads, slinging blame and offering excuses about why we still have not been able to make a law, or we will break for the holidays having sent another huge dose of relief out the door to the people who need it. Wow. Okay, so that's your uh, 8 p.m. update as of Tuesday, uh, December 15, 2020. Now, I'm going to probably do a uh, update tonight or tomorrow morning on what actually they said uh, uh, the, uh, at, at the 7.30 meeting. So they're convened now. It's probably going to be about 8.30 to 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. Eastern time before we hear anything that's going on with it. Now, leave a comment down below whether you think uh, let's let's give predictions out before they can before they we know what's going to happen in the next hour and a half. Leave your comments down below. Do you think they're going to come out and say, yeah, we all agreed. We're going to be adding everything and, and everything's going to be good. We're going to add that package to the uh, to the funding bill and America is going to be happy again. So uh, if you like this video, smash that like button down below. I'm going to be on the next video giving you those updates as they come in. So if you see this bobblehead in the middle, smash that button. Add me to your subscribe list for more financial news you can use, and we'll be talking with you soon. Ciao.